Hello YouTube, this is Tyans, and I will be bringing you a Survival Hunter video. Now first, what I need to tell you about this video, I'm only level 85, I haven't been leveling much since Miss Pandaria. I just started playing it again, so, um, well, I didn't just start playing it, but I just started getting more gear. So, basically, for gear-wise, all you really need to stack is agility and PvP power. PvP PvP resilience is really that important. Um, obviously, if you feel that you that you die too much, then put a little bit on, but you most likely won't need that. Um, I am a troll, so if you do not have the berserking talents, then that will be okay. Um, most races have a pretty good cooldown. But so these are my keybinds. You can see them out here. I'm going to show you the macros. The first one I have is Q and that's my traps macro which is right here. I was going to just keep on all of them but it really wasn't that important. It's snake trap and explosive shot so when I it's just regular I press Q it'll do a snake trap and when I click shift Q it'll do explosive shot. And what you should also know is these exclamation points that makes it so if you click it then and you click other skills then it won't go away it will stay on there until you click um, until you click it down or you click the button again so that's really like I'm gonna show you again see I have it like this oh well for most skills it won't do that um, but like if you're moving around then it won't go off I believe if you um, it's not if you press a different skill, but it's if you move around. Because I think it used to be where you had to stay in one place, and you'd either fling your trap when you're move, when you're staying, or just drop it down when you're moving. But now they changed it, and I think this is a lot better. Um, my other macro, which you saw me use, is my mend pet and misdirect. This is very good for battlegrounds and for PvP. Oh, hey, little warrior. It's very good for PvP as well. Mainly because if if you have another person's pet on you, you can just click this macro and it'll misdirect their pet. So it'll basically be like y'all's two pets fighting. Because pets for a hunter, it's really good to have but not to be against. Because pets can really slow you down and they can also do some pretty good amount of damage and it does men pet just because I'm used to having a heal right there um, you could do these two separate things but I just have it like this and it also if I have a focus then it will do it on my focus if I have a pet it will do it on my pet and if not then it won't do anything so to the next the macro now I'm not gonna go over every skill because I don't have anything special. I'm only gonna show you the actual macros. And here's my third macro, I think. It's a run macro. I use it when I'm taking damage and I need to go away. It does scatter shot to get them off of me. Disengage just to get some distance. Aspect of the cheetah. So when I disengage and I get that boost, then I could keep running. And it also used my health stone. Um, cause hunters, they really don't have a lot of heals unless you spec into it. But, um, usually I have a healer. Or, I'm, um, like, being really cautious and don't really need one. And, my kill shot macro. It's very simple. All you do is start attack, stop casting, start attack, cancel or deterrence. So, if someone's trying to burst you down before they go down, then you could do, and you already use the turrets, and you cancel that and get that shot off. And it also uses Widow Venom. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you right now. You should know what it is if you're 85, but um, I know a lot of people they're just using the automatic thing, so they don't really know their skills. And where is it? Right here. It's it's a um, 15, 15 focus um, shot and it's instant and it if reduces the effectiveness of any healing taken by the enemy for 30 seconds so basically if they try to heal 
then they won't s it reduces the effects when I try to do that kill shot to take them down um I used to have a little yell thing that said you're going down but um when I was going down then and I tried to kill people as I was going down they kind of spammed it so it just oops, sorry so I just deleted it and here's my burst macro um my racial all my offensive cooldowns and that's basically it hunters they don't really have that much burst it's more of a rotation but you can have this but you don't need to um this is my um hunter's mark macro oh, I need to get that out of there that was when um blizzard had that anniversary thing but it puts my pet on assist in case it's not on and it also does a hunter's mark and a serpent sting and that's really good for like if you're just um what I do is if I'm farming or there's a big group of people I would do um the hunter's mark and the serpent sting on my main target and then I'll keep doing my regular um multi-shot rotation thing well, not. I'll basically do the rotation to where if there was a lot of people, where I just do the multi shot and cobra shot. That's the um my rotation for that. This I got from someone else. It really helped me a lot. It's a target. It's a mouse over target scare beast. Now I didn't really get the point of using this, but now that I'm starting to see um more and more of like pets going against me since I'm really low in BGs then this is really good because all I have to do is just mouse over them click the button and then it does it and this is my arcane shot macro um, someone told me this wasn't that good but that's because he did it wrong what he did was he put arcane shot and he spelled this wrong so he like blamed me for that but what it basically does is Arcane shot use that a lot in your rotation, and also con concussive shot um, use that as a slow. So I always want my target to be slowed in case they're running away or I'm running away from them. I always want them to be slowed. Um, the arcane shot just because I didn't want to. Um, it didn't really fit within the other skill, so I just put on arcane shot, and that is the macros. Now for talents, oh this video is really long. For talents, you can see them right here. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Chimera, Silent Shot, Spirit Bond, Thrill of the Hunt, and Lynx Rush. Those are my talents. Um, they're, they're pretty good. I found that the most one I use is Thrill of the Hunt for those, um, extra moments when I need some more damage or there's a lot of AOE that really helps I did use Dire Beast because I was just going off of what someone else said and I just went through the ones and just sent my rotation like that but Dire Beast it is not really useful I mean it really is good if you're fighting like something for a short period but in the long term, Thrill of the Hunt is a lot better. And it's passive, so don't really have to worry about clicking anything. Um, silent Shot, just for the silence. Spirit Bind, I really need that since I'm leveling up for the health. And Crouching Tiger, um, just for the deterrence. Um, when you're leveling up, your talents are a lot different. Because it's more for survival than like just... Well, for for a hunter I think it's more for survival than doing damage and link slash I don't really know why I picked that I just thought that um it was better than it would be like better for a burst than any of those okay and now for my rotation now this is my rotation for single target and then it'll do my rotation for multi-target so what you want to do is obviously you want to do the first one Hunter's Mark, Serpent Sting, Black Arrow, Arcane Shot, Explosive Shot 
and you just want to keep that up and if either one of these are down most likely arcane shot would always be up but when black arrow and explosive shot come back up then use that and I found with Thrill of the Hunt I really do not need um oops, I was in the wrong aspect I really do not need to use cover shot but if I do then I will use that just to um just to keep that poison going now for oops. now if I'm doing multi targets then what I'll do is I will start in with the hunter's mark on my main target and then I will do multi shots multi shot multi shot three multi shots and then I'll start getting up this even if it is proccing I'll still use it because after that then usually my focus is low so it really helps me I just go three at a time and then another cobra shot and then I just keep going because I basically want to keep that serpent's thing going because it does two about 3k damage every three seconds so if you think about that that's so a 1k a second so that's just on one target so if you go two targets that's 2k a second if you go to four targets that's that's even more I don't, I don't really feel like doing the math but um it's 4k damage just so you know but yeah that can be pretty good in dungeons and also in battlegrounds say if you have the warlock with their many pets there's so many pets that a warlock has and you just want to get all those wild imps down then you could just do that and for bursting what I would suggest doing is doing a scatter shot and then a silent shot and then doing your rotation so scatter shot just to interrupt them if they do um, if they do like try to interrupt you and you can just scatter shot them and then silent shot if they try to get off a heal because they see you're about to burst and also use um, tranquil shot if you need it you, you might not really need it but like if you're going against someone who has a lot more health then you might want to use it because it removes their enrage and magic effects I find that most useful in um, fighting warriors but it's, it's just my suggestion you don't have to but yeah that is the end of the video if you like this like comment and subscribe and I will be doing a beast mastery video after this so watch that if you're a beast mastery I do not do marksman so if you want a video for that then I might go to marksman just for the video but most likely I'm not remember if you like this video like comment and subscribe and I will be making more videos